Hi, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. In today's SQL Accounting System tutorial, I'll talk about cash sales. Let's go to SQL Accounting System Sales module, and over here is the cash sales. Now, the difference between invoice and cash sales is when you're issuing an invoice, you need to go to customer payment to make the payment. But in cash sales, you can actually do the sales and the payment together. So it saves one step for you. Let's go into cash sales. So over cash sales, you can see a listing of all the cash sales that you have created before. So over here, you can search using different criteria for a cash sales. Example, if you can remember the cash sales number, just type the number. So it will appear. Or you can use company name. Any others. Let's say when you want to use a criteria that is not over here, what you can do is you can right click any column title, field chooser, maybe fax, just drag, drop, then fax is appear, then you can use fax to search for the passives. Else, you can drag, put it back. Or if you don't want currency example, to appear over the listing, right click the column title, remove this column. Okay, or you can have this button over here. There is the small button with multiple lines at the most left hand side at the column title. Click on it, area. Then you can see area appear, untake area is not there. So to create a new cash sales, what you need to do is go to new. Normally, for cash sales, we will not maintain the customer information, but still, you need to maintain a customer, maybe call cash sales. Okay, so over here, select the customer, try not to do the scroll down and look for them, just type the name will do. If when you type the name, nothing happened, meaning that your focus of searching is not at company name, now it's at company name too. So, to move the focus back to company name is by click on the tab key on your keyboard just tap come to currency tab go to code tab go to company name so tap cash sales okay select item also can use the code description or description tool put in the quantity if there is discount put in discount if you put a percentage sign, that means it's a percentage, let's say over here is 10%. If you plus or put an amount without percentage sign, this is an amount, meaning that after 10% discount, there is another 5 ringgit discount. Okay, this SQL support unlimited level of discount. You want to add another item, click on the plus sign, select another item, change the quantity or you can directly change the price or so or you want to keep additional information regarding a particular item you can do field chooser right click column title field chooser more description just drag drop then key in the description if you want unlimited key in directly click on the cross save changes yes then you have your cash sales ready but as i mentioned you can directly do the payment over here how to do when you click on save this payment dialog will appear so system will ask you how much the customer paid maybe 440 so what is the payment method cash or credit card or a check okay so you can select a cash in hand click ok done this cash sales have been created so the cash sales number is cs00011 at the same time there is a customer payment also created cs00011 so why these two is same because you have to do the setting under tools option customer so over here you can see use cash sales number for payment received this part is actually a customer payment so if you go to customer customer payment so 
So actually it's this one, CS0011, the cat sales, automatic already knock off. By doing this, if you want to edit or, or you try to delete this cat sales, you're not able to delete because the customer payment have been knocked off for this cash sales. So to edit or to delete this cash sales, what you need to do is click on edit, remove all the information at the bottom. Sorry. Make sure it's empty all the way. Click on save. Remove this pay amount to zero. Click OK. Then there is an outstanding because nothing has been paid. So that's why by using this, then you can change it by click on the edit or click on delete to delete this cash sales. Okay, so this is how you do cash sales in SQL accounting system. So remember, there will be double entry for this cash sales as well as impact to the stock quantity, same like your invoice. So thank you for watching. Once again, I'm Brian from Syntax and Logistics.